what interest does the state really have here? Okay? What are they wanting to do? They want to build a road, fine. But really, the reason that they can do that without the MAP Act, guess what? I think they built I-85 without the MAP Act. They built I-40 without the MAP Act. They built 29 without the MAP Act. Let's, let's list all the roads that we've driven on for our childhood. 421, 70 around here, they built those without the MAP Act. But what the MAP Act lets them do, it's like a drug, it lets them lock down the properties and then slow everything up. There's no incentive to hurry up because they've got you where they want you, you're stuck. Okay, it makes their job easier. And, it, and, and I'm gonna say this in front of Joyce, I think she would agree with me. It makes things easier for the politicians. They don't have to go out and say, we need more money. We don't need to raise the gas tax. Oh, we don't need to cancel that project or we don't need to pick that project over this project. We'll just all put them in this giant hopper of protected corridors and we don't have to worry about the cost of it. And I think Joyce agrees with me. You either have to make hard choices on how you're gonna pay for these things or you need to stop planning. If you hire a planner, guess what they do? They plan. Yeah, exactly. I feel like I'm in a kindergarten class here, and y'all are all remedial, but that's okay. <laughs> I was a Sunday school teacher, and that is, that is the worst thing that ever happened to my church. So um, I went over those little fifth graders' head. Okay, let's say, so they got to narrowly draw this thing. So let's talk about narrowly draw it. Does it expire? No, that's not very narrow. Does it have to have a thing, do you have to act? No. Do you have to pay for it? No. You know, can you get to condemnation procedures with the state? The answer is no. You gotta wait three years. And like I said, money moves like water and it's not sticking around. 